<laughs> what a good day for a barbecue. And what a good day to practice some addition. First, then, now. We are going to be doing some addition using the first, then, now method. But before we start, let's play a little memory game. Which food is missing? Look at these food types. These food types are good for cooking on a barbecue. Hamburger, chicken drumstick, hot dog, steak, sweet corn, potato, shrimp, kebab. Okay, so these are the food types in our game and in our addition practice. Hamburger, chicken drumstick, hot dog, steak, sweet corn, potato, shrimp, kebab. Are you ready to play which food is missing? Here we go. Which food is missing? Shrimp. Again. Which food is missing? Chicken drumstick. Again. Which food is missing? Kebab. Let's play again. Which food is missing? Hamburger. Again. Which food is missing? Hot dog. Let's play again. Which food is missing? Potato. Are you ready to play again? Which food is missing? Steak. Okay, so let's practice doing some addition using these food types. First, we had four hamburgers. Then, we added one more. Now, how many hamburgers do we have? First we had four, then we added one more. Now, how many do we have? Five. So, how do we write that as a number sentence? Like this. Four plus one equals five. First we had four, then we added one, now we have five. Four plus one equals five. First we had three chicken drumsticks. Then we added three more. Now, how many do we have? Six. First we had three, then we added three, now we have six. So how are we going to write the number sentence? Three 
plus 3 equals 6. First we had 3, then we added 3, now we have 6. 3 plus 3 equals 6. First we had 6 hot dogs. Then we added 2 more. Now how many do we have? Eight. First we had six, then we added two more, now we have eight. And the number sentence will look like this. Six plus two equals eight. First we had six, then we added two more, now we have eight. Six plus two equals eight. First we had two steaks, then we added two more. Now how many do we have? Four. First we had two, then we added two. Now we have four. So how is the number sentence for this one going to look? Two plus 2 equals 4. First we had 5 sweet corn. Then we added 2. Now how many do we have? First we had 5, then we added 2. Now how many do we have? Seven. First we had five, then we added two more. Now we have seven. How do we do the number sentence for this? Five plus two equals seven. First we had four jacket potatoes. Then we added four more. Now how many do we have? Eight. First we had four, then we added four more. Now we have eight. And the number sentence will look like this. Four plus four equals Eight. First we had four, then we added four, now we have eight. Four plus four equals eight. First we had eight shrimps, then we added two more. Hmm. Now how many do we have? We added two more. First we had eight. Then we added two more. Now we have 10. First we had eight. Then we added two more. Now we have 10. Eight plus two equals 10. First we had 10 kebabs. Then we added two more. Now how many do we have? Twelve. First we had ten, then we added two more. Now we have twelve. So the number sentence will look like this. 10 plus 2 equals 12. Very good. So 
Why don't you practice doing addition using the first now then method? You could draw this table or this mat on some paper or you can screenshot and print this. Then you could practice doing some addition, draw your own pictures. Maybe you could do fruits or toys or anything that you can imagine. First, then now and then write the correct number sentence.